Hi, Debbie from Debbie's Crafty Hands here. Um, we're going to continue on with the painting of the sculpture of the hands. Um, we've done the skin tone and we need to work on the base and tidy up the nails a bit, maybe put a second coat on. So no further ado, let's go down to the basement. Or the desktop, whichever you prefer. Right, so we've got some skin tone. I've got some new new toys to play with. I bought some skin tone acrylic painters. Now I think it's the wrong way around. The merit. But it basically says skin tone acrylic painter 12 pack and I also bought some deco art acrylic paint skin tone color and i bought some zilda acrylic flesh tint sounds very gruesome doesn't it but um so the the three of them cost under 20 pound for the whole lot so i'm really pleased with that because i can get some good use out of it because um, they will practically draw on anything stones and plastic and glass etc so we had to have some fun with them now I have been experimenting with the base so this hobbycraft acrylic paint um, in the I think we established it was some sort of metallic green I can't Pearlescent green, pearlescent green, pearlescent, yeah. Um, and the Neptune blue green from Wilco. That's an emulsion paint. Now, if I use that, I will have to seal it with something. So that's fine. But the colours, I like the the darker green better. The light green was a little bit too see-through, didn't, didn't really work. So, but I'm going to try a little patch with them both together, mixed in together, and see if I can get a bit of pearlized turquoise and see how that works. So, let's wipe my fingers off because that lid was a bit mucky. And with some scoop some up, pop it in my little pot here and then squirt some in scoop a little bit more up I think and then we'll see that where that takes us so it lightens it up a little bit and also this pearlized paint is um, seals itself whereas the emulsion doesn't so we're having a try let's try it here and that does have a little bit of a sheen to it actually you liking that I suggest maybe putting in a little bit more of a pearlescent in there a bit more pearlescent you always yeah. can do two coats can't you yeah. I'll probably do another a time lapse of, of the overall painting real quick and uh, come back after the second coat down uh, when we get to that point. Right, so we need to put a bit more of the blue. I need to do enough to do it in one shot. Do it in one shot, otherwise, we're going to come unstuck. So, and a good glob of the Blue, green, pearlescent, whatever calling it. Oh goodness. Maybe I should have got the bigger tub. <laughs> right, so, stir of this. Get it mixed in nicely. Okay, see how that's it's got a bit more of a shine. It's got a shimmer to it, hasn't it? Yeah, well you can see from because you've got the, you've got the uh, other pot in view as well. Oh. You can see the difference there. Yeah. It's not just the lighting. 
So, we'll go with this. And uh, I shan't be speaking much, otherwise I'll be going... Well, you did that in the other one. I did that in the other one, yeah. Make funny pinky and perky noises. Have you so, haven't actually seen that one yet. I have. <laughs> oh, you have just yeah. seen it. So, we'll do this coat and a second, and then we'll come back when we've finished the second coat, and then we can do some more on the hands. So, see you when we got around this bit. Um, I will be painting the bottom, the base as well, just to seal it in, um, completely make it watertight. Um, but I'll do that off air. So where I put the um, flesh colour paint, I'm going to have to do maybe even three layers. But I shall layer it up and see how it goes.
so that's the base um, double coated I might go over some areas that are a little bit lighter um, again but I want to see what it looks like when it's completely dry um, now I'm going to concentrate on the fingernails um, now I've got a base coat on of the nail polish I want to put a more defined line and I probably will go in with a, a paintbrush rather than the brush from the nail polish itself because it'll be a bit of finer finer brush so I need to make sure that this brush is cleaned off a bit Now, I don't know whether, I think I might pour that out into something. Might be easier, mightn't it? Will it pour? Yes, it will pour. Okay, so just pour a drop of that in there. Hopefully it won't need much more than that. And that'll give me a... Point now. I need to work out where the nail is and where it finishes around the edges. It's quite handy, I've got the other finger to lean on. Uh, <laughs> handy. Oh, Now anything I, I do go over the edge of the nails or anything, I can come in with um, my toned pens, um, skin tone pens, that's what I meant to say. Yeah. I got told I've got to finish my sentences. <laughs> in editing he's waiting for me to finish the sentence before he clicks through and uh, he's waiting a long time because I don't finish them. I thought you were going to do it again while I was talking about not doing it. <laughs> I nearly did. I nearly did it on purpose. Right. This nail looks very raggedy. A lovely manicure here, Pete. You can't feel a thing, can you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Might go for a third coat, depends on how this dries. It's just a matter of laying it until I'm happy with it, really, I suppose. Um, might go for like a glossy top coat. ones are going to be the thumbnails because they're in such an awkward position.
waiting for everything to be dry in between. That's the frustrating thing with this sort of project. Because if you rush it, you end up ruining what you've just done. <sighs> Looks a bit better, doesn't it? I think that's dry enough. Sorry, this is a twenty pound webcam from about fifteen, twenty years ago. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's doing its time. Make it more washed out. In the second drawer, next to my top drawer, next to my bed drawers, there's some acetone. In the second drawer, next to my top drawer, next to the drawer, next to my bed. Yeah, that's the one. You know exactly where I mean now, don't you? <laughs> Acetone. Yeah, it's enough. The does not necessarily have acetone in it, although it is usually what they use. There are some blue smears on the hands where I caught it with the um, when I was going round the base. I was going into Smurfs. <laughs> Smurfs. Smurf. Oh no! I have, but not very often. <laughs> yeah, 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 I have. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Honest, honest, yeah. I have. Once yeah, or twice. Yeah. Once. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it on plenty of videos. Yeah. <laughs> Does I've that read count? About it. Yeah. <laughs> I've read about it in a book once. Wow. Well, leaf wrap. <laughs> Oh. Oh. It looked like that's what they were doing. Yeah. That's where you like, get a towel and fry the brush off, right? Yeah. Oh. I'm painting the handle of the paintbrush now. They look good. Right, I'm going to go in, go in with the red now. Amazing how far this stuff goes, especially when you're only using a little brush. Mm. So I put a tiny drop in the blue, and I've still got loads left. And my fingernails are smaller, so how do I get to this? <laughs> this is the problem. <laughs> Or worse, and you go 
do I have? Yeah, I have no idea how to count. It's fine. Hmm. Oh, he's like counting down. Counting down. Uh, uh, beep. 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 My brain, probably. <sighs> Nothing that I'm aware of. Yeah, it doesn't that I'm aware of either, which is why I'm confused. Right. Now for the thumb. Under the thumb. That's Tom's. Uh, Tom thumb. Yeah, ah. Uh, Tom thumb. He landed on my lap. Bit of blue there, which we want to get. Uh, red there, which we want to get rid of with the blue. <sighs> I submit your fingers are quite handy to move it around with. A bit more stocky than mine. Right. That. Pink is that for the blue, I think, and for the red nails. Clean that off the brush before I. Uh, Don't do this at home. Yeah, disclaimer, or well, don't do that at all. Do not drink <laughs> nail polish with water. No. It's not water. I was only jesting. Right, now then. Here comes the serious stuff. I'm running out of palettes. I put all that blue in there and I haven't needed it. <laughs> but I can um, paint some book pages for yeah. the flowers, yeah. so... So the next video has to have a lot of blue paint in it, you know why. Where it's come from, yeah. Okay, so I need a new brush. New brush, please. That will do. And I'm literally just going to fill in any gaps, any white bits. Just go over any... Just get it a bit more toned. going over in different colour um, skin tones um, just to give it sort of texture and Now 
got to be careful how I turn it. Oh, but it's been down. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we should get a... Um, yeah, yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Yeah. We'll have to get one of them. Put it on the shopping list. We have a shopping list, or a wish list more, of things that when we can afford it, we're going to get. So, we'll add a Lazy Susan, so if we do a project like this in future, we can spin it a lot easier. Yeah, it would. Maybe we've missed the boat on that one, but there'll be more projects, so. Twenty more to go. Twenty fingers. Oh, the tricky bit is getting down underneath them. Smooch there. Cover that up. Although we discovered when we were making the original skin tone that um, Pete's idea of putting a bluey green in. It's not my idea, that's just how you make skin tone. <laughs> Put blues in, and I didn't realise that. On the red and sort of make a pinky colour. A lot more of my skin tone, so. Oh, you have now. Yeah. I have. Paint all Especially with my thumb. Yeah. You've had a green fingers, I've got blue thumb. Oh. Right. Whoop! Hair extraction. No, it's not the one from his knuckles, it's uh, from the palm of his hand. deliberately put paint on our fingers because we when we're crafting we always end up with paint on our fingers sure if that's blue under there or reflection that's the problem oh. apologies if my head's in the way guys but I need to get to this bit here in the palm but I can't really see what I'm going
No, if those green blue marks or whatever don't come off, I'll just sand them off and then go back over it with some paint um, if I can't cover it. That's probably the easiest way, isn't it? Fill it in. But I can't do that until it's dry. There's one there that's really bugging me. I seem to want to. It's a shame I didn't get the um, image of my wrist because I could have put my tattoo on, couldn't I? That would have been fun trying to copy the tattoo. Version 2. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. Right, I think. I think I might need to change colour. What we do next time, we just get two of them and we're just getting the big, like a proper big bucket mm. and two tulips. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. They're really beautiful. Oh, £23 a pop. It's not bad. It's, yeah, it's good value, but for two of them, it's quite. No, quite I, an investment, so should I say. Not only time soon, but that's quite the time. Yeah. Right. I think I'm going to try this. This one, see what colour this one comes out. I'm going to open it. It's got a bit of cellophane that's defeating me at the moment. What's that? I don't know. Sometimes this packaging can be a bit challenging. Is that it all? The last one I tried to squeeze it out the paint. Um, tube and I realised the lid was still on. I'm just checking this one, make sure I'm good. Now then, I'm running out of places to put my thing, so I'm just going to put it on the corner here. Just a tiny bit. Me? Just trying to tone it so it's different paint, different areas, so it's different sort of colour striations sort of thing. But it's quite tricky because in, in the um, different lighting comes up different and in the middle bit it's sort of very shadowy so you can't really see whether you've done it dark enough or not but if you can't see in amongst all this light I've got one, two, three, four, four lights shining on me really brightly at the moment. So if I can't see with that, then someone's going to not notice in other lights. So I don't know why I'm panicking. folks we'll come back to you with the absolute completed 
final fine tuned um, double checked over version but I think we are complete can you see any bits I've missed it's all right I get the it's all right and I'm happy with that it's all right it'll do I'll make you scrap it and restart from scratch if you Yes, I have. So, just remains to say, much love, everybody. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.